New information on the video that's gone viral. The South Jersey man captured on camera delivering a racist tirade remains in police custody. Get these fucking monkeys out of here and you can't do that man right there, Edward Cagney Matthews, will spend the next few days in the Burlington County Jail. He's facing charges after that video surfaced of him unleashing racist epithets at a neighbor. Our Joanne Pileggi back live in the Mount Laurel neighborhood where this all went down. Joanne. Hey guys, different scene here today. 24 hours later, a lot of new developments. It all says, according to neighbors, it blows open the doors and exposes an ugly problem, they say, about a man who lived among them. You know, from the second I moved here, I loved it, have been here for this long because it is a family. Um, lots of kids, we usually have, like, a lot of the kids are out here playing. We got lots of diversity. But watching her neighbor, 45 year old Edward Cagney Matthews, escorted from his condo last night, surrounded by police, heckled and assaulted with plastic bottles by protesters. Dania Mosley is sad, disappointed, and, well, angry. It all happened here. I'm just like a boisterous person, um, a little off the handle, it seemed like, frustrated, maybe disgruntled. We don't know for what reasons. Matthew spent the night in jail after county prosecutors filed new charges against him in connection to an argument with a neighbor where he used racial slurs, a dispute that was captured on video and widely circulated, drawing protest outside his home and outside the Mount Laurel Police Station today. All right, well, that's a satisfaction to, to be able to give to the people that he was in fact arrested. He is uh, currently awaiting um, a hearing, but we don't intend to stop there. Get these fucking monkeys. Activists say Matthews is alleged to have terrorized others in the neighborhood because of their race, and nothing was done until he was caught on camera. It's not Africa. They questioned why Matthews wasn't arrested after cursing at the officer on the scene. Go talk to Let him know what I'm all about. We want an entire review of everything out here. Out there in the complex on a white fence, Another racial slur smudged into the moss-covered vinyl, the N-word. Neighbors claim Matthews did it after his confrontation. Police have not confirmed that. For, for my daughter to have to worry or, and, or see that or have to read it somewhere where I might not be there for her to, to explain is just a very, very sad situation. As you can see behind me, Matthew's windows are boarded up after protesters broke them last night as police were taking him out of here. He is in jail. Prosecutors petitioned to keep him there until his preliminary hearing on Friday. Police have set up a hotline to find out if there are any other victims. Tonight we're live in Mount Laurel. I'm Joanne Pileggi, Fox 29 News. Back to you, Shana. All right. Thank you, Joanne.